we come to the 263rd MMA history video and it's UFC 263 which was called Adesanya the Vittori 2 just top reveal there and UFC 263 was held on the day of June the 12th 2021 and the venue was the Gila River Arena and it was held at Glendale in Arizona and the attendance was 17,208 the total gate was 4,200,000 and the buy rate was 600,000 So, we start the preliminaries, five preliminaries on ESPN Plus and UFC Fight Pass, so all the preliminaries like that. So, we start in the heavyweight division, Carlos Felipe defeats Jack Collier by a split decision over three five-minute rounds. Lightweight division, Faz Ziam defeats Luigi Vendramini by a majority decision over three five-minute rounds and a catch weight match of 148 and a half pounds. Uh, that's just over the box in welterweight limits so just going into the bottom of the light middle weight boxing division but this is the UFC so I digress a catch weight match of 148.5 pounds Stephen Pettersson defeats Chase Hopper by unanimous decision over three five minute rounds and the lightweight division Terence McKinney defeats Matt Frevola by KO punches, seven seconds in to the first round. One of the quickest knockouts there. Ben Ars again got knocked out in about three seconds against George Massaville by that knee later on. Um, so earlier on, shall I say? And we finish the women's bantamweight. Pani Kianzad defeats Alex Davis by a unanimous. Decision over three five minute rounds. All in preliminaries on ESPN Plus and UFC Fight Pass. So we've got some other preliminaries here on ESPN and ESPN Plus. Four of them. So we start with them. Featherweight division, Mosfar Evliov. So yeah, Featherweight Division, Movzar Evloev. Mos Movzar Evloev defeats Hakim Dawodu by a unanimous decision over three five-minute rounds. W women's flyweight division. Lauren Murphy defeats Joanne Calderwood by split decision. Split decision over three five-minute rounds. Then light heavyweight division. Eric Anders defeats Darren Stewart by unanimous decision over three five minute rounds. Lightweight division, Brad Riddell defeats Drew Dober by unanimous decision over three five minute rounds. All these later ones on ESPN and ESPN Plus. Then we go to the main card of which and there are five fights. Championship fight as well at the end. So light heavyweight division. Paul Craig defeats Jamahal Hill by TKO elbows and punches. One minute and 59 seconds into the first round. Welterweight division. Balal Muhammad defeats Damian Mia by unanimous decision over three five minute rounds. In the welterweight division, Leon Edwards defeats Nate Diaz. A good fight. Unanimous decision over <coughs> five five minute rounds. <coughs> Flyweight division, Brandon Marino defeats Diaveson Figueredo. That was a championship fight. 
um, submission rear naked choke and that was two minutes and 26 seconds of the third round yes there's two there becomes the first ever Mexican UFC champ I think uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah I'm going back there the Santos no yes yeah, I'm sure he was the first but anyway so middleweight division Israel Adesanya for the middleweight championship defeats Marvin Vittori in an position over five five minute rounds yes so that's Oh yeah, we go to the bonus awards. Following fights received 50,000 bonuses. Fight of the night was Brad Riddell v. Drew Dober. Performance of the night was Brandon Marino and Paul Craig. Reported payouts. Israel Adesanya, 500,000 no-win bonus. Defeating Marvin Vittori, uh, who got 350,000. And Brandon Marino got 200,000, includes 100,000 win bonus, defeating Davison Figueredo, who got 210,000. Leon Edwards got 220,000, includes 110,000 win bonuses, defeating Nate Diaz, who got 250,000. Bilal Mohamed gets 160,000, includes 80,000, defeating Damian Mia, who gets 175,000. Paul Craig gets 110,000, includes 55,000 win bonus, defeating Jamal Hill, who gets 28,000. Brad Riddell gets 80,000, includes 40,000 win bonuses, defeating Drew Dober, who gets 87,000. Eric Anders gets 150,000, includes 75,000 win bonuses, defeating Darren Stewart gets 45,000. Laura Murphy gets 140,000, includes 70,000 win bonus, defeating Joanne Calderwood, who gets 51,000. Mosvar Avloev gets 72,000, includes 36,000 win bonus, defeating Hakim Dawood, who gets 55,000. Pani Kinze gets 56,000, includes 28,000 win bonus, defeating Alex Davies, who gets 43,000. Terence McKinney gets 24,000, includes 12,000 win bonus, defeating Matt Frevolo, gets 23,000. Stephen Pettersson gets 46,000, includes 23,000 win bonus, defeating Chase Hopper, who gets 37,000. Bar Zian gets 28,000, includes 14,000 win bonus, defeating Luigi Vendramini, who gets 15,000. Carlos Felipe gets 50,000, includes 25,000 win bonus, defeating Jack Collier, who gets 28,000. Although not recognised on the official pay sheet, Stephen Pedersen was fined 20% of his purse, which is 9,200, for failing to make the required weight for his fight against Chase Hopper. Uh, that money was issued to Hopper in a dog, yeah, so officially burned so that's the end of MMA history video 263 which was UFC 263 and UFC 263 was held on the day of June the 12th 2021 and the venue was the Gila River Arena and it was held at Glendale in Arizona and it, yeah and that's it bang